Hey there, today I'm going to share travel tips for those passengers who wear hearing aids. If you have a hearing impairment, this video is going to help you travel more confidently, knowing what not to do with your hearing aids. I will teach you some packing tips, travel tips, hints for airport security, tips for inside the airplane, and for when you are on your vacation. I am a Houston pilot wife and I do wear hearing aids. I share tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. If you Click the bell beside subscribe, you'll never miss one of my free videos. Travel tip number one is when you buy your airline ticket, check the hearing impaired section. Even if it's not a huge issue for you, something that you're really worried about, it will help them know that you need to choose an aisle seat or sit near the front if those seats are still available. I do think that most of them will charge you more to sit up there. But if you do need to read lips, that travel tip will help. This video is sponsored by Resound Hearing Aids. I have worn theirs for almost six years. I've worn the battery kind that you put batteries in and I now have the rechargeable ones. I hope to free up your mind and free up this world of worry for you if you are traveling with hearing aids. Travel tip number two is to pack your hearing aid batteries in a case that is in one of your personal item bags two reasons to carry your supplies in your personal item bag. Number one is that if you wear the hearing aids that you put batteries into, having those supplies in your personal item bag will help them not get lost if they are in your checked luggage or if the overhead bins are full and your carry-on suitcase does not have room to fit and the flight attendant or the gate agent says, I'm sorry, we've got to put that in the belly of the airplane. You know that your essential hearing aid supplies is in your personal item bag. And then tip number two is that the Transportation Security Administration does not allow the rechargeable battery case to be packed in your checked luggage. It has to be packed in the personal item bag or carry-on suitcase because it has a lithium battery in it. This is my tech organizer and it is able to roll up and I would just pack your rechargeable case in some kind of tech organizer or pouch that's easily accessible. And you can also pack your cords in there or you can have a designated pouch just for hearing aid supplies. One thing that I found that I love is this hearing aid case that is large enough for large fingers to fit into, like to get your supplies. And if you've got mobility issues, this case will help you to easily be able to fit your fingers in to get to your hearing aid supplies. The first case I had was super small, so I was excited to share that with you. And this family run company, it's not sponsored. They know what they're talking about. <laughs> This next travel tip is for airport security, and that is that you do not have to take out your hearing aids or put them in the gray bin to go through airport screening. They stay on your ears throughout the whole process of traveling. And if you wear a mask in the airplane, in the airport, or in a foreign country, do not wear earrings while you are traveling, just in the airplane and in the airport, because you already know, since you wear hearing aids, that sometimes when you take off your mask, you lose that hearing aid because it gets tangled up. Well, if you add hearing earrings to it, it's gonna get tangled up even more and you might feel the earring get lost, but you might not recognize that your hearing aid is falling out. So let's protect those things and keep them on our body. When I contacted my audiologist about this video, I asked her what are some fears or worries that you hear of from passengers who wear hearing aids. And she said that a lot of people do not know that you do not have to put your hearing aids in flight mode. Like a lot of hearing aids now are controlled by your app and your phone, and you do not have to put the hearing aids in flight mode. And just so you know, if you are listening to something on your phone in the airplane, because it's Bluetooth, you will still be able to hear it, even if your phone is in airplane mode. The next tip is to not avoid going to shows or crowded areas while you're on vacation wearing your hearing aids. If your hearing aids can be controlled with your phone, like my Resound ones, you can control the noise, you can filter out the noise, you can filter background noise, you can speech focus in a restaurant. So when you go on a cruise ship, you can go to that show. You can sit around the large table in the cruise ship and hear everyone because you have access or capability in that app to 
help yourself. It's so less frustrating. My audiologist's office is about 10 minutes away, so when I did have questions about tweaking a little, uh, like the phone program in my cell phone talking to someone on the phone I was able to ask her but I've also emailed her several questions right when I was getting started and they're so helpful and remember if you do need to take a hearing test you can take a hearing test completely privately on the computer so if you know someone who is just so frustrated but scared to try hearing aids they can take that test on the computer for free I will leave a link to it below. I get nothing from it if you take that online test, just so you know. The next travel tip is for your hearing aids in the airplane. If you think about how you watch entertainment inside an airplane, some of the airplanes still use the seat back in front of you and actual he uh, headphones. But if, if you cannot listen to a show through headphones, you can download Netflix videos or other shows or YouTube videos onto your phone and I'll show you how. Here's how you download shows from Netflix so that you can watch them up in the air inside the airplane. You're going to open up Netflix, you're going to choose the show that you want to watch or the movie, then you would scroll to see which season you want to watch. Then you're going to click on that season and it's going to show all of the titles when you're ready to download them about 24 or 36 hours before your flight beside each title is an arrow pointing down you just tap that arrow and it will download it onto your phone then when you're on your way up in the air again for your vacation you can then open up netflix on your home screen see the bottom right corner where it will say downloads and you just tap that and then you're able to watch when you're up in the air in the airplane, your phone will be able to watch those shows that you've downloaded onto your phone, even if it is in airplane mode. I just learned that travel tip last year. <laughs> the next travel tip is for any passenger, but especially if you are hearing impaired, you want to get to know your airline's app that you will be flying on because there are two things that are so helpful to you as a hearing aid wearer. <laughs> If by chance you do not hear the gate agent, or in my case, if two gate agents have been talking on the microphone at the same time when you're ready to board, if they make the announcement that, oh, a flight to Chicago is now 20 gates down that way in gate two, and you didn't hear it, your app is going to be the one you, you can trust. Your app will, will alert you to the new parking spot for your airplane. Another reason is inside the airplane, if you cannot hear the flight attendant say, your checked bags will be at carousel number five. Did he say five or nine? I don't know. You can look at your app because it has your flight information in the airline's app. And I've already mentioned that having the airline's app is how you are going to watch their entertainment system. Let me know if you like reading a real book or using a Kindle in the airplane. I have to use a real book. Another travel tip is for when you are going swimming. If you're at a pool or the beach, I have a travel tip that may help you protect your hearing aids, even though we really don't want to take them near a large body of water. But if you have to, like I have had to sometimes, yes, you can pack your hearing aids in a plastic baggie. I recommend a bag that is splash proof. This one is just a large one because one of my travel tips is to take a large bag to the pool or the beach because you can fit a lot of it in without losing any of it. It zips, it snaps to the chair. Uh, there are several bags like this, but it will be double protection for your hearing aids if you are having to pull them out near a large body of water. Like I said, I recently got the new rechargeable hearing aids from Resound. My biggest fear is that I will lose it while I am on vacation. So I asked my audiologist, what do we do? And she said to immediately email your audiologist so they can get you a replacement one for when you get back. But one thing we thought of was that Apple has a tracker that will fit on your keys that might be able to track this if it's lost or if it's at one of the hotels that you stayed at recently, if you're in a lot of different places. I'm thinking flight attendants or airline crew. For those of you who have stuck around this long, I have three bonus tips on ways to protect your hearing aids. And that is when you are sleeping at night, you can pack a valet tray like this. One reason I like this is that it packs flat. 
so it's not taking up space in your carry-on bag. They come in all different colors. If you are going to spill water because you're in a different area, I like to have a glass of water on my bedside table at night, wherever I am. And just in case your arm swings and knocks over your glass of water, it is somewhat protected by a tray like this. Or the two other tips are one, a peanut butter lid. And the great thing about a peanut butter lid is it does not blend in with the granite countertop of your bedside table. So you will not forget what's in that peanut butter lid. And that would protect it more from water on the surface of the bedside table. And then also a travel hack is that you can just pack a thin scrap piece of fabric as long as it's a bright color so that it does not blend in with the countertop. Now, if you are a first time traveler, or you have not flown in a while, I have a jargon video about the vocabulary that gate agents and TSA officers use um, that I will list in the iCards and in the description box below. I also have um, packing tips if you are flying again, finally, that may help you get through airport security smoothly and quicker that I will link in the description box, not in the iCard. Um, now, the way you find the description box is you can click the upside down carrot or the word show more, depending on what device you're watching me on. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any fears or questions about traveling with hearing aids, please be sure to link or list them in the comments section. And don't miss that comment section. Our travel community shares so many good tips, especially for organization and uh, helpful tips like that. So say hey if we haven't met yet. Thanks again for your time.